Friends, we are working this week on, on gifts, the unique gifts that God gives us uh, that are necessary and complementary for the work of the church. They're individual, but they, are, they have a collective purpose. And each of us has a responsibility to discover our gifts. And as we, we talked about yesterday, to develop those gifts. And the third thing you have a responsibility to do is to deploy them, use them. The beautiful voice <clears throat> that remains silent, the passionate heart that never speaks, the wise counsel that is not offered, <clears throat> the compassion that is not uh, e expressed, the help that is not given, the suggestion that is not made. All of these are situations that are tragic because a gift unused and undeployed has no impact. Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 12, 12 and 13, just as the body is one and has many members and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. In the spirit, we are baptized into one body, Jews and Greeks, slaves and free, made to drink one spirit. So the unity part of the church is not really optional. The church is going to function. It has to function together. And if people don't deploy their gifts, no matter how well they discover and, and, and develop them, the body is less functional as a whole. Think what it would be like if all of the people in a given community of faith developed their gifts to the full and then used them to the full. Wow, amazing, what a thought. There's no more important decision we make than, than uh, this decision about where and how and with whom we're gonna deploy our gifts. Where, how, and with whom. Right? Those three questions. The setting and the companions augment or diminish our efforts and also the joy we experience in the work that we do. I'm saying choosing a church is crucial. And I, you probably know that already. And that's not just for what we receive through the ministry of the church. It is for the opportunities we have to give and grow and use our gifts. Nothing compares to being a, a healthy, strong part of a community that is together building the kingdom. Let's pray. Gracious God, activate the gifts of our community. Help those on the sidelines to get into the game. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen.